Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. Elaine Bastigian, sorry if I said that wrong, asked an interesting question, which is what is the difference between using paste into and a clipping mask? And that's actually a really good question because there's some pros and cons to both. So let's say, for example, I have this text layer and I want to add some texture to it. So I'm going to do a couple of different ways here. So let's I'll select all and copy. Come back here and I'm going to load this as a selection. Just command or control click on it and choose under edit, paste special, and then paste into. And what that does is it automatically makes a layer mask, but you'll see they're not linked together. So now I can move the texture around inside the text. And that's great, nice, simple way to do it. The only drawback in this case is if I decide to edit the text, the mask will not update automatically because it's a mask. It's not based on the text. So instead, that's where I would consider doing a clipping mask. If you position your cursor between the text layer and the texture on top and Option or Alt click, it puts the texture inside. So same end result. I can still move it around, but the difference is this is still text. So if I come in here and I want to change anything, you'll see it happens and updates automatically. So that's a definite advantage of a clipping mask is if you're involving some kind of shape, whether it's text or something else that you want to edit on the fly, it's a little easier than using a layer mask. So why wouldn't we always just use a clipping mask? Well, there are some situations like here where it would just be easier to do paste into. So for example, if not that it would make a whole lot of sense, but let's pretend that I wanted to fill her monitor with that texture. So I would come in here and use my lasso tool to make a selection and I still have that texture in my clipboard so once again I choose paste into now the mask is on the right angle but now in this case it happens to the texture it doesn't really matter but you can imagine that if I really wanted to I could scale down my texture and try and make it follow a similar kind of shape and things like that and here again it's a lot simpler because I'm doing it based on the mask. It wouldn't, it wouldn't make any sense. I'd have to end up making a shape and putting it on a layer by itself. So when you're trying to put something into a particular shape, that's kind of where paste into has its advantage. And now I could do whatever I wanted here in terms of, let's say I want to do a, a blend mode. So we're getting, well, maybe not that one, maybe this one. So we're getting some of the monitor and some of the texture, whatever we want. But the idea is, Making a selection and pasting into is often a good choice when you want to put it inside a shape and the shape itself is not going to change. I'm not going to decide to change the shape of that monitor, whereas with this example, I might want to change the font or the type size or whatever. Uh, I can do that more easily. So that's kind of why we have both of those options and why they both have their occasions where you'd want to use them. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.